Hi, this is Sharon Gordon. I'm here at the first annual fundraiser for the Jaja Foundation. What is the Jaja Foundation? You say you're going to find out in a minute because here with me is the founder of the Jaja Foundation and someone who has been very instructive and they're going to talk to us about this info, this foundation, how it came to be, why it is, and why we're here today. To my far right, your left, is Dr. Trevor Dixon. He is the founder of the Jaja Foundation. And standing closest to me is Dr. Wong, who is here from Jamaica. Gentlemen, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Yeah, I'm good, thanks. Uh, we have one mic, so we're going to get real close. It's okay. Like we're in the emergency room at KPH. Yes, intimate. Intimate. Um, Dr. Dixon, the Georgia Foundation, what is the Georgia Foundation for folks who are watching? The Georgia Foundation stands for Jamaicans Abroad Helping Jamaicans at Home. Before you go any further, you know that is one of the most... What's the word, Dr. Wong? I mean, it works. Yeah, it works. It just works. It, works. Yeah, it's it just works. Yes, yes, it does. It does. It, with our culture and everything, it, it just it, works. It speaks yeah. to the culture, it speaks to the work. Go ahead, Dr. Dixon, we just have to stop you. Until yeah. <laughs> well, I mean... When I first told Dr. Wong about the foundation, he didn't even know I had a foundation, you know. <laughs> he said, you have a foundation? I'm like, yeah, because, you know, because he and I have been working closely together. When you say he and I have been working, let people put things in perspective. This foundation didn't just happen like this. This is work that you took upon yourself to do as an individual doctor giving back to your island home in Jamaica, your partner. So let folks know that. And both okay. of you, go back and forth. Well, I, I did sonograms, and I trained at, as an emergency physician. So when I finished my training, I decided I want to give back to Jamaica. So I went to different various institutions in Jamaica, trying to offer my services. And maybe I was talking to the wrong people, but they didn't see a need for it. Right, can I bring Dr. Wang in here? How did he wind up at your doorstep, Dr. Well, Wang? I don't and where know. is your doorstep? Well, I work at the emergency room of KPH, one of the busiest hospitals probably in the in the, in the, in the Western Hemisphere. Yeah, probably. <laughs> you see about 75,000 patients per year. Um, 75,000, Dr. Wong. Right, right. So I'm there working. This guy comes up. I've never seen before. I wonder who's this guy. He introduced himself and said, boy, I'm Trevor Dixon. You know, a colleague sent him to me, and he's willing to assist us in some things. And I'm saying to myself, not another somebody offering something and, you know, and never fulfilling his promises. And I told you've him seen that. enough of that. Yeah, you've a couple seen of enough them. of that. So I told him, and he said, no. And we spoke a little bit, and I showed him around the room. And then a couple of months later, he contacted me again. No, no, let me, go, let me rewind. Yeah, just around no, when I was leaving, I gave you my business, one of my business cards, and you looked at it. I did? And yeah. it said autism education, remember? Right, right, right. <laughs> and um, I'm one of the first um, doctors who were trained in emergency medicine in Kingston, Jamaica, with a program there. And um, we, we, we know that ultrasound is an integral part of diagnostics within the emergency room. And I saw it as an opportunity to use the services of Dr. Dixon to assist our patients in Jamaica. No, no, let me just pause here for a moment because I'm familiar with the story and you're watching this. I got to tell you that when Dr. Dixon was interviewed on CPR Live and he told his story, everybody cracked up because he said it wasn't until he saw what was on my card. So you're the he that he was speaking of. Saw what was on my card that he called me back. Now, Dr. Dixon, you said when he when he started talking to Let you. Let me explain to you exactly how he said. He said, hold on, man. Hold on, man. Come back here. Come back here. I don't remember that. And that's not my recollection. I remember. So, so. When that happened, immediately the bonding happened, and that is when this collaboration started between both of you. Let folks know where you are now with the work that both of you have been doing. Well, you know, for the past four or five years, Dr. Wong has been working. It's a partnership. And I tell people when they come to Jamaica, people have the perception of Jamaica, and they stay here and they decide what they want to do for Jamaica. And it was a partnership. I was blessed that I went down there and I sat down with Dr. Wong. He explained to me what the needs are from his perspective and I told him what I probably could try and, and do and it wasn't it was it was a lot but I, I thought there wasn't much so out of that evolution came we started to look at, at the physical structure at KPH but Dr. Wong made it clear to me that there were some plans already on the In board place. Right, right. To, to try and do some renovation but the antsy guy that I am I'm very antsy and I've been going oh there. yes he is <laughs> I've been going there for five years I decided you know what Dr. Wong, I can't wait, you know. And he saw, I think he saw that I can't wait. He kind of knows me now a little bit. And he said, you know, all right, I'm going to talk to some people. And he's been a bond for me. He's the bond. Because I'm here in America and um, 
he's a man. He's a man on the ground in Jamaica. So you are on no, the ground, I, Dr. Wong. I, 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 I think I think Trevor has been quite generous. Um, what basically I've been doing is is doing the work in the emergency room, and at the same time, the, the government has been trying to provide some monitors and assist the, the area in in, in um, you know improving the care that we offer. However, you know there there are limitations to what is what they, because there are some financial difficulties. So we welcome the private um, public partnerships and so on, and also people from the diaspora who are willing to assist. You know, there's no barrier in anyone who's willing to help. There's no barrier at all. All you need to do is follow the, the processes that are there to make sure that whatever donations and whatever is being offered, right, is accepted through both parties. Okay? Let me ask you a question, and, and either of you can take this. You have done some very significant things over the last five years. Yes, yes. Share with us some of those. I mean, you have done practical things that are needed. It's not let, pie in the sky kind right. of thing. Let me tell you what he has done for KPH. Right. He has provided two ultrasound machines. Two ultrasound machines. Right? He has provided incidentals such as intravenous catheters, um, intravenous lines, uh, different stuff that we would have to have spent lots of money to have purchased. So Dr. Wang, he has helped to make your work easier. and the work of the staff you easier. Said it, easier. And for the patients. And for the patients, patients as well. Of course. For so, the patients. so in doing this now, here comes this Jamaican abroad helping Jamaicans at home. home. And so this collaboration just basically mushroomed into this organization. Yeah. It was it was I mean um, it just it just it just is a natural progression. Yeah. You brought this to Crystal Manor in Brooklyn, and folks need to know the success of this event. And you got a little teary-eyed just now when you were speaking on the mic, when you looked around the room and you saw. Tell folks what got you so emotional. Because you know what, you have a vision, you know, you share your vision with people, but you know, there's always people who are very skeptical, you know, and I, I don't blame them, you know. There are a lot of organizations out there, maybe about 50 to 100 organizations, a lot of them travel to Jamaica every year, you understand know I me? Mean? And um, we have both met scoundrels along the way. I, when I, when I, I don't miss my word. It's there. Yeah, but um, when I see people who realize that the Jaja Foundation is real, I mean, by the name alone, you must understand that I have nothing to hide, you understand know I me? Mean? Tell me about the anesthetic machines you sent us last week, two weeks ago. Dr. Wang is, is uh, hold on a minute. Dr. Wang is just sharing that Dr. Right. Dixon sent some anest two, two anesthetic, anesthetic machines, machines to Jamaica. Well, you know, it's funny you should mention that because that's what this foundation is all about. It's not, I was able to facilitate it, but there are people who are on the ground working very hard to make these things happen. I mean, Frank, who works in the anesthesia department, he knows what I'm looking for. And even though I was looking for an anesthesia machine, first of all, he asked me would I like to have it, and I said, Frank, I would love to have it. I was humbled. When somebody reaches out in their heart and says to me, you know, I'm going to do this for you. I'm like, why are you doing this for me? He said, because it's the right thing to do. And people donate their time. And he's not Jamaican. This is this is someone at the hospital who knows of the work you do at the Georgia yeah. Foundation. And we must take this time to thank those who are in the room, who are from the various hospitals Absolutely. and organizations who get it. Yes. There are people from the Philippines here, from Puerto Rico, yes. from all dimensions. Yes. And yes. they work with me and they see the work, that they see who I am as a person. And that's why they're here, really. You said something earlier, and Dr. Wang, I know you can chime in on this. Dr. Dixon said, many of them don't know about Jaja Foundation, but they know me. Right. And they know that if I'm doing something, then they know it's something right. righteous. Trustful. Trustful. You have gotten there with him. Trustworthy. Um, to tell you the truth, I'm very cynical. No kidding. Yes, I am. I'm not, I'm not, not going to trust the first person who comes to me and says something. Right. It's my nature. Right. So um, at, first, at first blush, when I saw Trevor, I said, oh, here comes another one. Another one. Yeah, but five years on, he's, he's a real deal. Right. What do you want to say to folks who are watching this broadcast here, the first annual? We know this is going to grow. We know this is going to get big. Like Dr. Dixon said earlier, whatever monies are raised here tonight goes directly to helping folks in your emergency room, which is where he has committed himself to. It is, is it four rooms that you're renovating? Yeah. Let me, tell, let me explain something to you about KPH, Kingston Public Hospital. You know, my commitment is to every public hospital in Jamaica, and I've donated what I can to every public hospital. But make no mistake, Kingston Public Hospital is the mecca of, of hospitals in Jamaica, okay? Because bring us your poor, your indigent, and who have no money, and, and they don't refuse anyone. I don't think every hospital in Jamaica can, can claim that, you know what I'm saying? And so when, when, when the doctors in the rural areas 
scratch their head because they don't have the technologies or, or, or the necessary things. They send them to KPH. So, Dr. Wong, you are picking up a lot of the slack. Uh, that is, or, or you're getting a lot of the patients. Uh, to, to, tell All right, it, to, to tell the truth, in the, in the um, health services in Jamaica, KPH is, is designated the, the primary referral hospital. We don't want to get patients from other parishes. We get patients from the U.S. who are repatriated. We get patients from the Caribbean islands who are sent up for services. We get patients, you know, from wherever who need to come back to Jamaica. So, so folks, are you understanding this work that the Georgia Foundation is doing? You can do your part. We have Dr. Wang here. We have Dr. Dixon here. Many people are in the room tonight, and I've got to say this to you, that this organization needs your support. Go online to www j a h j a h foundation.org that's judge foundation.org you can donate directly on the site we have four rooms to renovate and that's just phase one dr dixon has a huge vision and his plans i can't tell you all i can say to you is keep this organization on your bookmark page bookmark the page whatever you need to do keep it in the front of your mind because Georgia Foundation is going to be renovating public hospitals, not only in Kingston, but throughout the entire island of Jamaica. You remember that you heard it here. Some final words, because I know I can't keep you from your, your party. So some final words. Let me get Dr. Wong. Dr. Wong, you're here visiting, yeah, like yeah, you man. said, just a couple of hours, I, I really. Just, yeah, yeah, I just like to thank Trevor for his altruism and his vision. And of course, everybody here in New York City yeah. and wherever else in the United States. And big me up too. Uh, big, uh, <laughs> big up Sharon. <laughs> CPR Reggae and Carlisle. CPR Reggae, brother Carlisle in the house. Garvin with Bun Jam TV. I yeah, big yes. up everybody. You know? Yeah, big up everybody. Yes, yes. All right. Yeah, we need to recognize the people who are doing good things for Jamaica. Genuine good things for Jamaica. When I said I was doing this project, you know what? I know, I know. I can only talk about the grassroots organization. Because it's weak. CPR came to me when, when nobody else would even listen to me. And she, she heard me and Brother Carly has a great vision. Yes. He, can, he knows the questions to ask somehow. He's like a psychiatrist or a psychologist mixed into one. You know, they came to me and they said, I will interview you. And they sat down there and they tried to help get my cause out. Garvin Gray, absolutely Same phenomenal. Yes. I go to him with my problem. He never one day yet said, this CD costs $5, give me $5. Not one, until this day, he has put together a video that you will see on yes. YouTube in a few yes. days about the Jaja Foundation. Yes. He hasn't asked me for a dime. Did the same for CPR, that's Garvin Gray for you. Yes. And that's what Bonita we're talking Jamaica. about. Bonita Jamaica. Go on the Jamaica. website, Bonita Jamaica. On Jam TV. Jam. What does Garvin do? He portrays Jamaica in a positive light. We don't have enough time to talk about what we do for Jamaica. Because some of the projects that I work on, not even Dr. Wong, no. I always yeah, like to surprise him. Of many projects. Like Dr. Wong, he's looking at the sign on the wall. Now. There's a hospital sign yeah, on the yes. wall. Right? That's we have, something we have, we have that's getting ready to happen. Yeah, man, we have all he spoke about that on CPR Live. He told us about the sign for the hospital. So, folks, you can imagine the party is popping. I bought 20 signs out of my money. I bought 20 aluminum signs. Just when are these going up, Dr. Dixon? going to go to KPS because when I was going to KPS, they get lost. I couldn't it's find it. I, the, first, the only sign I saw was the one right in front of KPH, the hospital sign. So those signs we're going to get... I am not here to criticize Jamaica. I love Jamaica. No, we're I'm building. here to help. We're building. My mother taught me, don't criticize, help. Exactly. Yeah. What will you do for the Georgia Foundation? My name is Sharon Gordon. I'm signing off now here at the first annual Jerk Festival a fundraiser for the Kingston Public Hospital as we renovate, restore, and rebuild our country. Thank you.